What's up, guys? I uh, had a really cool integration I wanted to share with you. Um, if Air AI is not cool enough with just being able to make thousands of phone calls within minutes uh, for dirt cheap, it also integrates with Go High Level. So I just wanted to do a, a real quick rundown on how it integrates with Go High Level. There's a few different ways, but the way I'm going to show today is uh, would be such as like if it's on a call and it says a certain phrase in the script then uh, it would trigger an inbound webhook in go high level and trigger an action to happen. Um, and then once you get the information in the go high level, I mean, really the sky's the limit, you can do anything you want. So um, right here in go high level, I already have the inbound uh, hook set up. I'll quickly show it to you, but we'll recreate this so you kind of see how that works. Uh, so basically just high level overview, whenever a call is ended from Air AI, uh, we have uh, a web, uh, inbound webhook that's triggered, it collects the information. Uh, create update the contact um, also have it tag it uh, just so I can just because I like to tag everything and then uh, the action would be for this example to send a calendar link so that they can book a call and get on your schedule and then once they get into that workflow obviously you could go into your calendar workflow and start um, doing your automated follow-ups with this person if they don't book from there so um, if we go over to um, let's just go back to workflows and if we create the workflow from scratch, I'll just kind of show you how that looks. We'd go to add trigger, uh, do your uh, inbound webhook. When you do the webhook, you have your URL here. You would just click copy. Uh, you're going to go over to your Air account, uh, click on your little circle with your initials up here, go to integrations. Um, under the settings tab here, um, this is where you paste that. Uh, inbound webhook URL. Now this says Zapier webhook, but it's because most people use Zapier, but the way their API works is you can uh, put anything here. You could even use make, Zapier, go high level. Um, any of those will work here. It doesn't just have to be Zapier. So that's where you'll paste that. Paste that. And then um, to get it to know that you're connected after you click save on your Air account, um, you need some sample data. To get that sample data, you actually have to trigger this to um, make the call so that it, um, it it connects with each other. So to do that, um, I go to create. Um, I have a test actions uh, test action agent here, and the way this works is I just create a very simple agent um, that where when you call, you click talk to agent. Whenever you make that call, um, all this agent is going to say is, "Yeah, I'll send you the calendar link after the call." And this is my trigger phrase. So you have to have a trigger phrase. Uh, the way that works is you go to actions over here and I already have it set up, but let's just create this and you'll create action, custom action, you select it, and then you just name this action like uh, send calendar link. And then this is the phrase that you want it the agent to trigger doing this action. So when the agent's on the call, as soon as they say the phrase exactly that you put here, then it's going to trigger this action to happen. So you can um, say, great, I'll send you the link. It could be awesome, I'll send you a text. Whatever you want that phrase to be in your script, that's what's gonna trigger this to happen. So for this one, the trigger phrase is, I'll send you the calendar link after the call. As soon as the agent says that, it could be anywhere in your script, it's going to trigger this action to happen. So what that looks like, you make the call, you talk with your agent, you go back to go high level, you fetch the sample request, and if I were to make the call, it would be there. So let's just go back since I've already done it. Um, I didn't want to go through and make the call. That's just going to take some time. Um, we'll go back to the one I already made. So that's how I got this here. Um, I did the call, I got the sample request for this demo. Um, the action was send calendar link. So everybody knows what the action is. And then we create update contact. And then when you create update contact, um, the way this works is you just go to your contact fields, um, find the first name, you go here, go to inbound webhook trigger right here. Then you go to lead and then it has the data from the call, first name, last name, phone, email. So then once you map these fields, now it knows, oh, okay, I, I'm, I'm talking with this contact here. 
Now it knows what contacts it's, it's talking to. Uh, you can trigger an action. So this action, the way it's set up, this is an if else statement. Um, I just have one here for demo purposes, send calendar link. I always name everything exactly what it's doing. So if I add in another branch, um, it could be, uh, you know, send SMS gift card link, you know, whatever you want to do. And then I would have that action. Um, you would go to the inbound webhook trigger right here. You click on action and then is, and then you have to type exactly what that action is. So send calendar link, the way you know for sure exactly what that is, is you can go back to your webhook. You can go here. It tells you exactly what you need to copy right here. So you copy that, you put that right here. That's what the action is. And then as soon as this call is over, this is going to get all that information. It's gonna read that action. And then if the action equals that, like it says, you can send an SMS, you know, hey, here's a link to my calendar. We select a convenient time. Boom. I mean, guys, once you get to this point, sky's the limit. Um, how cool is this? Uh, if you have questions about this, hit me up, let me know. Just wanted to show you that real quick because this is going to be uh, highly, highly used. You can have as many actions as you want, uh, whatever you can think of that you want to happen on the call, bring that into go high level, and then start uh, firing off actions. Um, hope you enjoyed this. Uh, I thought it was super cool, so I just wanted to share that with you.